I'm Miss Cammie. I am an SLPA at the Phoenix Southwest Clinic. Today we're reading Fast Freddy, The Legend in a Shell by Michael Hale. In the high Sonoran desert where the tall saguaros grow, there lived a little hatchling who was always on the go. Federico was his name, but in the stories that they tell, he's always called Fast Freddy, the legend in a shell. A tortoise lives a quiet life, the same from day to day, but Freddy wanted none of that, so he stood up and ran away. With much to see and much to do, he wanted to explore, to experience his desert home like no one else before. They say that he could run so fast, he hardly touched the ground, creating swirling dust devils each time he turned around. Road runners were too slow for him, jackrabbits just like snails. He left them all to eat his dust as he passed them on the trails. Bighorn sheep have climbed to heights that no one else would dare. But when they reached the summit, they found Freddy waiting there. He made many friends along the way, some easy to embrace, while others, although very nice, required extra space. Always polite, he said, no thanks, and try not to be rude, to dinner invitations where he might end up as food. On overheated summer days, he'd hide out from the sun and wait to join the nightlife when the day was done. Under clear and starry skies, he kept in perfect tune, along with the coyotes who were howling at the moon. He had late night chats with friendly bats, stare contests with owls, and scared the Gila monsters with some pretty frightening scowls. When the summer heat had lessened and the cacti fruit was ripe, he'd eat his fill and dance a jig beneath an organ pipe. He jogged with javelinas and would gamble with the quail. And when it came to rattlesnakes, he really shook his tail. During monsoon season, when the water's flowing there, he'd surf through the arroyos on a piece of prickly pear. When he'd finally seen and done it all, with nowhere else to roam, Freddy left the Grand Sonora, his lovely desert home. Before he went to all his friends, he bid a fond farewell. And to this day, they remember him, the legend in a shell. The last we'd seen, he'd headed west toward the setting sun. If anyone could catch it, it was Freddy on the run. He took a brush and pails of paint, red, orange, yellow, gold, and every night the heavens glow in the colors to behold. The tall saguaro cacti's arms reach higher than the rest. Some say they wave to Freddy as the sun sets in the west. The end. Thank you for joining us for story time today. Please subscribe for more videos. We'll see you later.